Good evening, my friends. How are you? I'm so happy to be here again with every one of you because every one of you means a whole lot to me. Today, I want to ask you a question. Do you think we can stop chronic pain? Do you think we really can stop chronic disease? Do you really think we can stop addiction? Do you think we can stop cancer? My answer is yes, and yes, and yes, and yes, yes. How about your answer? What do you think? You think you can stop it? You think you can? Or you think you can't? You think you have the tools to help you succeed? Do you know what the tools are? Do you know who has the tools? Did you ever ask yourself those questions? Is it the stress? Is it the food? Is it the friends? Is it the environment? Is it your genes? Is it your husband? Is it your wife? Is it your spouse? Who is it? Who calls your sickness? Is it your mind? You know, I'm an ER doctor for years. Every time I said to a patient, you know, it's your pain. It's your mind. They thought that I was bad. But the mind is over matter. When your spirit and the mind are aligned, you are on the track. It's really about you. It's really about what you think. It's really about what you want. You need to be the CEO of your own body. Like everyone is the CEO of their own business, your body is your business. Yes, I am a great doctor. Yes, I can help you. Yes, I have too many answers. But you do your homework. That is your body. That's your mind. That's the power you have. Dig deep inside. Ask yourself questions. Ask questions about why. Why is it that we're having more cancer than ever? Why? Why is it that we have more addiction than ever? Why? Why do we have chronic pain than ever? Why? Why do you suffer more than ever? Why? Why are you we submissive more than ever? Why? Why are we the slaves of any and everything? Addiction is slavery. But are you addicted to reading? Are you addicted to drinking alcohol? Are you addicted to, to eat sugar? Are you addicted to watch TV? Are you enslaved by anything at all? It's about me. It's about you. I cannot help you unless you want to help you. My job is to raise questions. My job is to help you know who you are. Why? Because, number one, I'm a doctor. Why am I a doctor? Because I have a purpose bigger than me. Why? Because my dad died from pancreatic cancer. Why? Because I loved him so much and I made a promise to myself and to him and to the world that I will find an answer for pain, an answer for cancer, an answer for chronic disease, an answer for suffering. I had a purpose bigger, bigger, bigger than me. Do you have a purpose bigger, bigger, bigger than you? If you do, I'm here for you. If you do, you can stop becoming a pill popper. You can understand, you will understand, there is no quick fixes. You'll understand that we need to dig, dig deep, deep, deep enough to find the root cause. Why do I have cancer?
Why do I suffer? Why do I have pain? You know, I'm here for you. I'll talk about stress. I'll talk about addiction. I'll talk about cancer. I'll talk about food. I'll talk about lifestyle. But unless you are ready to change, nothing will happen. It's your journey. But you're blessed because many of us are there for you. Many, many women, like Veronica, a friend of mine, she is here for you because she wants to empower women and women and women again. I want you to know we're here for you. I want you to know that you have the power. I want you to know that you will succeed if you want to. It's not just diet. It's not just food. It's not about constipation. It's about you. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? What do you want to accomplish? I want you to know that I love you, but I don't love you as much as you should love you. You're your own doctor with our help. Until to next time, I'll talk to you again. Becky, I'm so glad you joined in. I'm going to be there for you. I'll help you all the way. And you are the best doctor ever. And yes, you are. I don't care what they think about you or me. We're the best of the best of the best. I love you, Becky. Keep on doing. We'll work on adrenal fatigues and everything. Thank you for joining in. I'll see you soon. Becky, I have to be on radio and TV now, so I'm sorry I got to go, but you and I are communicating all the time. Great doctor. Bye.